Hello everyone, welcome to the Dwin D. Gus training. Today, we are going to introduce pointer icon overlay function. It can overlay and display icons through the C51 program to achieve a display effect similar to a mouse. This course mainly focuses on the understanding and application of the system variable 0xd8. It is mainly divided into D Gus project and C51 code two parts. Before creating the project, we need to prepare the material for pointer icon overlay display. Here I have prepared a background image and a pointer icon in advance. Let's start the project now. First, open the Deet Gus software. Click New. And set the resolution to match that of your screen. Then set the file path. And click OK. Click the plus sign and select the background image. Next we need to generate ICL files for the background image and the pointer icon. Click Welcome, then click Dwin ICL Generator. Select the background image directory. And click Generate. Name it 32 the ICL file. Next we generate the pointer icon ICL. Change its name to 42. Then click Touch and Display Config. Since the main functions are all controlled by the C51 program, we don't need to set other controls in this DGUS project. We can directly generate the configuration files and save the project. This is the C51 program. Its main function is to enable the pointer icon overlay display, read the touch coordinates, and update the display position of the pointer icon in real time. Let's take a look at the specific content of the source code. Go back to the DGUS project file. You can see that there is a touch area in the page. Hover over the fixed point. It shows its coordinates. The coordinates of the four points can refer to this. Then, we can attach initial values to the four points of the area. Next define two unsigned int variables i and j to represent the touch point coordinates. In this source code, there are two functions. The first one is the isInBox function, which is used to determine whether the touch point is within the box. After getting the touch point coordinates, if the touch point is within the box, it returns 1. If it is not within the box, it returns 0. The second function is the main function. First, the system, serial port, and data saving initialization. Then, initialize the icon display position. You can refer to the description in the application development guide. The system variable 0xd8 is used to control the icon pointer overlay. 5a is the start mark. 2a is the ID of the ICL file, 42 in decimal, which is consistent with the pointer icon ID in DGUS. 0000 is the icon naming ID within the ICL file. The last two data are the initial display position of the icon. 01C9 is the X coordinate of the pointer. 00E2 is the Y coordinate of the pointer. You can define them according to your needs. Then write a while one loop. Enable the clock function. Here are the functions of count, automatic data upload, data power off saving, serial port sending, and receiving. Then refer to the development guide. System variable 0x16 represents TP status and occupies four words. D7 is the enable flag, 5a indicates the update of touch data, while other values mean no update. D6 is the touch panel status. D5, D4. The variable address 0x17 represents x coordinate. 
D3 a D2. The variable address 0x18 represents y coordinate. Back to C51 code. Read the system variable interface 0x17 and 0x18. They represent the coordinate of the touch point. Then x coordinate of the touch point is assigned to i, and y coordinate is assigned to j. Next, we need to detect the touch state. Refer to the development guide. Note that D6, touch panel status. 0x00 equals release, 0x01 equals first press, 0x02 equals lift, 0x03 equals pressing. In the code, read underscore D gus 0x0016 equals 0x5 as 03. Whether the touch screen is being continuously pressed or not. Then check whether the touch point is within the box. If the touch point is within the box, the pointer icon is enabled. Right side to the VP address 0xda, writes J to the VP address 0xdb means that the pointer icon is displayed at the touch point. If the touch point is not within the box, the value of 0xd8 is set to 0, means the pointer icon is disabled. When it is detected that the finger has left the touch screen, clear the system variable 0x16 to avoid the function being called again. In this way, we have finished writing the C51 program. Open the C51 folder and find T5L51.bin file. Then copy it to the dwin underscore set folder. Copy the dwin set folder to the SD card for burning. Next, insert the SD card into the slot. And power up the screen. Burn the project to the screen. Blue screen showing end indicates that burning is complete. Then power off, remove the SD card. And power on again. When my finger moves in the touch area, the pointer icon moves along with the finger. Thanks for watching.